Dude, you know how many honest. chicks I can get in these shoes, man? It's the, fucking ridiculous. The limit does not exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I don't I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> Look at us, huh? <laughs> Back at it again. Apparently you guys liked episode one, so here's number two. <laughs> we are here today with the Tom Penny SXL OG RS. Great right. intro, dude. Hey, thanks, hey, bro. That was, that was tight. This is fun. I mean, you know, anytime I get to talk about shoes, I'm just oh, I'm jazzed know, especially up, Especially shoes we like, too. Exactly. Bro. I, I mean, when we talk about something like the the S Excel, and obviously I know this is near and dear to your heart because of course. you've been doing things with S for, damn, like past, what is it, like a decade now as far as like writing for the brand and working and, and all those things together? How long do you think it's That's been? That's a good, I think I started getting shoes from them in 2004. Wow. I was on Flow. I got put on Flow 2004. And, like, obviously, um, I skated this shoe, the Excel, when I was a, a first time when I was a freshman in high school. And I remember just getting a, getting them and watching Modus Operandi just came out. And I, yeah. just, I just had a pair of Excels. I was doing switch flips because I was watching Mike Carroll and all these guys skate in the video. And it was the best feeling skate shoe I've ever had, like, with Flick Absolutely. and board feel. And it, it just, uh, and then... You see all your favorite skaters skating in it? For me, it was a similar thing, like seeing all my favorite skaters, but then seeing the homies around that I looked up to that we skated with together. Yeah. And the way just like your pants fell on top of them and the tongue yeah. just sat up properly. Yeah. Like it was it was such a, a, a an ill feeling. So now the nostalgia of seeing something like this with the Tom Penny uh, colorway and the reimagining of it all, man. It's a timeless shoe, obviously. The silhouette, is it stands the test of time for a reason. But to see what S is doing with changing the materials or changing the way that these the shoes are produced like that to me it's like your air force one yeah, yeah you know what i mean sure. like you have Definitely. a solid shoe that you can do a bunch of different things to but you, you're always going to keep the original the way it is yep. and then reinvent for different eras different times different people like i love that man and it's funny how there's you know when it comes to mind the excel there's pretty much two colorways that come to mind immediately the brown gum that what you just remember like you just associate that with like tom penny and you know, all, honestly, all those, Dude, everyone back Even then. like P Rod back P -Rod, then, too. PJ like, Ladd. PJ, like, yeah. man. And that was another thing that I was thinking about. So, as we were prepping, I was like, I remember when PJ, it wasn't the same brown and tan, oh. but PJ had a brown colorway as well with the Boston B on the back yeah. because he was one of those. He was kind of uh, like a trailblazer for the Excel. Like I, I remember distinctly seeing that photo of like just the ripped up, oh, just blown destroyed. out, destroyed shoe that yeah. PJ skated. And when you think about PJ, you don't think about like fresh sneakers, like fresh Excels. You yeah. think them blown out, but when you think of Penny, oh, you think of some it's fresh, fresh, <laughs> yeah. fresh head to toe. And you got like some light denim going on, you know, baggy yes, light you denim. Already you got know. the brown gum. You got like that visor beanie on. Bro. And you got a white T-shirt, and you're chilling. Chilling. So yeah. I do have a question for you, man, because yeah. obviously you got the, a little bit of insider info. Um, what was the inspiration behind doing like the inverted stitching? Because I know there's very few stitches present on the outside of the shoe. Yeah, I think it, so. It's reverse stitch, and this is actually a, um, something I'm, I'm a big fan of because. When we started, real quick, I'll just kind of bring it real quick. Yeah. One of the first things I worked on uh, when I came, when I started working for S was the Excel Slim. And you see on the toe on this one, it's reverse stitched. It's, it's, oh, I never noticed it's, that. So it's like, it just makes, it keeps, because we're, we're skating the shoe, obviously doing flip tricks. Yep. It keeps it intact. And so like, usually a lot of shoes kind of blow out Absolutely. around, there, around yeah. there and it kind of frizzes off. This kind of just makes it intact. So okay. we wanted to bring that uh, technology to the OG, man, and um, just kind of you know make a little something different for Tom Penny, and that's like iconic shoe for him, even yep. though it's iconic shoe for S. And do a different colorway. We did the cream color as well. Now that gold hits. buttery. Yeah, this Dude. one came out super good. That's so clean. And it's like you can see the Tom Penny signature on there. Yep. Man, I, I, I love that. Like, and not to cut you off, I know there's so much history and, and so many things to touch on, but the fact that S as a brand was able to realign with Tom Penny after all these years, after such an incredible career with S and as he moved on to other endeavors, to bring it back, that's like a full circle moment, man. That, that's such a beautiful thing. I, I think people, when we announced it, people were so happy, just like, oh, he's back home. You yeah, know what I mean? And yeah. like, he just looks right in those shoes. He does, man. It's, it's no, no, it's no coincidence that this is still around, Penny's still around, and now he's got his own colorway, and it's and it's so like 
reminiscent of what it was back then. It doesn't take away from that. Like you're not, you're not trying to recreate what that feeling was with the, with these shoes. Yep. You're just kind of giving that same energy to a new group of kids that maybe weren't around for for Tom Penny. And you know, we're in the cult of Tom. Yeah. So we kind of we grew up. We Even, know. You did what was it a uh, Halloween costume? Oh, I've been <laughs> I've been Tom Penny for Halloween plenty of times, dude. <laughs> plenty. I think I've like three different times. But it's like it's all like different stages. Like yeah. there was like Chain to Bank Penny. There's yeah. uh, Radlands Penny. There's I mean there's a bunch of different type of Penny. There's like later <laughs> on like Flip pen, or uh, Sorry Penny yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah, I think um, I, I'm just super happy to work with him. And then working with Don Brown and the guys who started S with right. gear, like it's it's not like it's sold and it's someone else running it. Exactly. It's like it's really in the hands of people who love it. Yeah. And I'm proud to work for him too. I love it. Um, I think it's cool to see. Add something a little different to the Excel, like a little different technology, nothing too crazy. Right. Where you don't like look at it and like, oh, what did you guys do? Like, right, exactly. It's 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 similar stuff to make it perform better. And you had you actually brought the the OG as well, right? Yes. So we can kind of compare just to take a brief look at exactly yeah. what it's like um, in comparison to what the actual Excel OG is. So here's the original, the OG, and you can see the stitching, just how different the stitching right. is. Right. Yeah. 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 And so, like, I mean, any skate shoe, when you skate as hard as you skate, like, any shoe, you're going to rip it. It's of course. Just, it's it's just, inevitable. It's yeah. inevitable. So it's like, you know, trying to make it uh, last a little longer, yep. but it still have the same aesthetic and look to it. So, Dude, this is, and obviously the little subtle changes, like making the S logos gold instead of yeah. the tonal brown. And was, um, did Tom have a pretty big say in, like, obviously you wanted to keep it as, as natural as possible, but was he pretty vocal on, like, when you gave him the different changes and the different, like, iterations? Was he cool with yeah. what was happening? You know what was cool actually was just like um, I think initially he had a different signature on there and I, uh, oh, okay. he was like no no I don't want that signature I want this one and that like this wow. is classic Tom yeah. Penny yeah. Like, so I'm glad that you know he was like yeah I, I really like this signature on it mm -hmm. um, you could tell too like on the soles like a little Tom Penny like little silhouette oh, yeah 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 um, but we have like the the boxes that it came in too which have the little it has the little uh, Oh, it's got a little Silhouette embossed, embossed yeah, a little. with the penny. But like that's a from a photo that Don Brown took of Tom Penny. I think they were in Europe somewhere, and there's a big hip, and this is a huge pop shove it. And it's just like that silhouette, right? Yeah. When he catches it. And that's kind of come like be an iconic thing for Tom. For sure. Um, and it comes like little tissue paper. And this is like a different design for a standard S box, obviously. Yeah. Like it's usually the red box with the white logo. So for yeah. this, it's elevated a little bit more. Yeah, and it's cool to like, you know, when you I think for us working, uh, my friend Layton and Don Brown work with each other on this stuff, and it's mm -hmm. like to get creative, like, oh, I want to do a new box, let's do it. Because we love mm -hmm. the brand so much and the writers that were like, let's do something special with this uh, little tissue paper. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. fun when you put those things together. Bro, and then, it, the small details matter the most, too. Yeah. When you, and especially when people catch on to those things and they notice, like, the little subtle changes, I'm sure as, as a brand, from that standpoint, that has to feel good to know, like, your work and the little extra things you're putting into it is recognized. Yeah, for sure. I and, mean, like, I, I'm just a big fan of the history of it. So it's yeah. like, it's so funny, man, because I... I watch his old footage so much and it makes me so happy. Like the footage yeah. at Ridelands, like it's at a skate park, it's at a skate contest. And I think, I'm not sure if it was practice that it was like, but like. Are we talking about practice? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it wasn't even like his line or anything. It was just like him skating practice. Mm -hmm. And it's the most, it's like the greatest feeling I could get watching yeah. something. I get, it makes me so happy. And like, I love that but he's man. wearing the brown Excels, um, yep. brown gum, and it's just like, it's just iconic, and it's it's amazing when you're that good on a skateboard, and you can make skating practice at a contest be yeah. iconic. Right. You know that's that's sure. usually like it's like street skating that's really like iconic, yep. but he could make anything just that beautiful. Absolutely, man. Yeah. And that's just him as a person. Uh, I got to meet him. For the first time in Barcelona, this was when Street League went there, I want to say 2015, 2016, something like that. And as a fan of, you know, 90s and early 2000s skateboarding, obviously Tom Penny is an icon. Yes. Someone that I never, in my wildest dreams, even thought that I would interact with. I know, right? And just on a human level to meet Tom and him to know who I was, that blew my mind, one, because I don't, don't expect anybody to know me, but the fact that he still has his finger on the pulse yeah. with what's going on in skateboarding, as elusive as he is, and you know, he's kind of like Bigfoot. You see him every once in a while, and he kind of pops up and disappears. It was, that, that moment for me, obviously, is something I'll remember for the rest of my life, yeah. but it just, it, it allowed me to understand the level of 
who he is as a person, as a skateboarding, and how tapped in he is at all times. Oh, he fully, he's fully into it. He still skates all the time. He's paying attention to what's going on. Yep. Uh, he's on his own world, though. He likes to go do what he wants to do. For and, sure. And that's, you know what, like, okay, there's like a handful of legends like that that are still around that y y you just, they're, they're like unicorns, I guess yeah. you could say. Like, yeah. you got Tom Penny, you got Chad Muska. Like, you know what's crazy? Like, I trip out, like, Kostin is still out, I know. like just doing shit. Yeah. Like, and he was probably the most, one of the most like legendary, like iconic skateboarders of all. Like right. that that era of S. Yep. There's so many of like it's cool to see them still going super hard. For sure. But t like for me, Tom Penny still that's that's what he does, dude. That's what he he does. skates every day. Yeah. He skates all the time. He films. He goes out and he just he just does whatever he wants to do. For sure. I'm, I'm, like, and it's weird because like I'm a team manager. Mm. I'm not gonna tell Tom Penny what right, to do. Right, exactly. I'm not telling <laughs> shit to Tom Penny. I'm like, you're, you're the best. You just go do what you do. Just be you. That's what what it is. I think um, when you're when you're a team manager for stuff like that, I think I think for me personally, it's been a little tough to like tell people what to do. Right. It's just more of like, how can we naturally just make something rad happen? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's that is a big part of being a manager is understanding that like you're not there to babysit you're not there to tell people what to do and how to do it you're there to manage how you can have a relationship with them and the brand and what works well because what works for penny is probably not going to work for a tj or something uh, you know what i mean so like understanding that there's levels to it and knowing how to do your job properly that's like that's true to you you yeah, know what i mean so like that's sure. that's rad to hear because yeah who the fuck's gonna tell tom penny what to do <laughs> yeah no no not at all and then it's like you got like a way to sarmo on the team who's like in my eyes he's like the younger version of a Tom Penny Absolutely. where like he is that yeah. like he's amazing on a skateboard yeah. and when you see it you're just like in awe yeah so and, and you, it's so few and far between when you get like those things but every time you do it's a fucking diamond yeah and he, then he doesn't miss and now you have TJ Rogers who's just like exploded into this like you know he's finally found himself on like his his skateboarding and he is unreal and it's a different it's a, I love personally this working different dynamics with the riders yeah. So I know how TJ works. I know how Schmatty exactly. works. I know how Tom Astor works. I know, you know, it's 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 really fun. But yeah. uh, to work on certain projects like this, like, hey, we don't have to really talk to Tom Penny. Like, hey, dude, we're gonna do something. Like, no, he's like, hey, no, that's. I just want to do something simple. Yeah. And like, let's make it a little different. And for that's sure. it. And then so, I mean, I'm a huge fan of white and like I love, bro, lighter color shoes. That one shoes. for me, like that yeah. sail color. So it's like a little off white, but yeah. it's I don't know, man. It's something just naturally beautiful about that. It's, it's one of those things where you look at those two side by side and it's kind of like, maybe that's what it was before it was dyed or something, you know what I yeah, mean? Like yeah, in its yeah. purest form. I think that's what it reminds me of. It was just like something so pure and for it to be an Excel and the OG shape and the OG like styling of it, it just, for us and our generation coming up in the late 90s, early 2000s, like that was, that was it. You oh, know, yeah. big box brands weren't a part of it. S was on the top of the, you know, the food food chain. Like yep. it was, it was a lot for us, and I'm I'm loving the fact that the new kids now get to experience the same thing. And dude, we got you know with the slim down here too. We've got like generations of S skateboarding because this was this came out more more recently, and it was to cater to the fact that shoes had been slimmed down, and it yeah. wasn't like a as bulky time, and it still holds the same like values. You, you know what's interesting? I was thinking about this the other day, is that when skate shoes kind of first came out, for the most part, they were like pretty big like this, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. And then over time, they uh, they slimmed out. Right. You know, now with fa the, the people just like the retros and stuff, people yep. are wearing the bigger shoes, but they're still skating the smaller ones too. When you look at basketball, People were playing in the smallest shoes, oh, yeah. like uh, Dr. J's yep. and freaking uh, Chuck Taylor's. Chucks, yeah. You're like, my, that, even my, that I'll say norm. even the Jordans, like the Jordan 1s. In the ones, beginning, yeah, like Jordan. the airships and the Jordan 1s and yeah. all that. Like those things were very minimal, and yeah, the puff was nowhere yeah. near. Not what, like, like this. Nah. And so it's funny how it's like it's switched, where yeah. like basketball's got like yeah, that's big true. ass shoes. Yeah, there's a lot more tech in, in basketball yeah. shoes now, for sure. And, and I think people. Um, which is good because like you could have your nostalgic like what you want, absolutely. You know, like from what you grew up on. Yep. And if you want to update it, we can have like the modern age version totally. of it. And it's like it's the same colorway, same like for the most slimmer, mm -hmm. a little longer toe cap. Um, but it's just 
you look down at it and you feel good because exactly. you're, like, you're writing in Excel. Yeah, so. and that's a, for the ones that have grown up in that era and have tightened their clothes a little bit, but yeah. still, like, this still gives the same vibe, you know? It's yep. the same feeling, and that could also work for vice versa. Maybe you started a little slim and you want to go bulky, and now you're on some Tom Penny shit, you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly, yeah. We out here, so. Yeah. Well, it's crazy, too, because you see, like, I mean, shout out to my homie Baggy Brad. I don't know if you've seen him. I've on seen it. him on Instagram. Uh, he's, yeah. he's like, he just loves. It's all. He's just obsessed For with Tom sure. Penny. He right. loves these shoes, and he loves S. And that's kind of what this brand is. It's like if you love it, you love it, and you just yeah. that's what that's it's your life, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm just stoked to be a part of it. And uh, it's crazy to see like you see like Justin Bieber rocking the OGs, bro. He just yes. like he was rocking them like crazy. And like I mean, there's a lot of people. Yeah. It's just rad when people. Um, just take notice of what legendary in skateboarding right. and then like just or they grew up on it you They know might have I mean? exactly yeah. that's the thing too is like you see a lot of people that maybe had always had some sort of like love for skateboarding but were outside of it and now when they can express themselves in a different way or maybe try skating out now they ha they have that that memory or those those that knowledge about what was legendary and what still is moving and being able to tap in and dude that's sick because the fact that a brand like s started the way it started is still skater owns skater run skater operated and you have people on pedestals like justin bieber wanting to willingly rock your stuff yeah, yeah. that speaks volumes. just the fact that you see tom penny still skating in the shoes yep. um i think a lot of people just grew up on it makes them happy makes me happy and i'm just glad we can make it we have some more stuff coming with tom penny i think people will be more excited about uh, I won't say anything more about it, but okay. and we have a lot of retros coming that I think people are going to be excited Keep about. Keep them on their toes. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I'm excited, and this is just a couple steps to, you know, just bring back like good memories, and um, I'm I'm stoked to do it with uh, the original S crew. Yep. Yeah, that's so. dope. So these are available now. People They're available both. now, both colors. Boom. Yeah. Oh. The cream and the brown gum, and yeah. Ask your local skate shop. Go online at skateboarding.com. Support yeah. your local skate shops for real. If mm -hmm. if you can. Um, tap in with them. Otherwise, like you said, skateboarding.com. But yeah. support your favorite skaters. Tom Penny is one of our favorite skaters. I'm sure you've got some sort of love for Tom Penny. Even if you're not the biggest fan, you got to respect the the legend. So, Tom if you don't Penny, know, if you sorry to cut you off, if nah. you don't know Tom Penny, go look him up right now and just binge because. Watch everything older and new. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he just dropped a new part. He just dropped a new part, and it's like <clears throat> he just went out and skated for a couple days, and you know what I mean. He still got it, so it's just still amazing got to, it. Uh, to see it going. So love that man. Yep. Hell yeah. Good shit.